We're talking about your writing, and uh, this is something I've always wished they would do, whoever they are, is put all your uh, New Yorker pieces into a book. And uh, this is just, is it coming out? Just, uh, well, yes, it, uh, no, October yeah, sure. 15th is the, uh, was the publication date. <laughs> is or was the publication yeah, date. I'm disoriented. Yeah, it's called Getting Even. And these are all, a, are, are there any exceptions in here? I mean, are all these things that appeared in the New Yorker, or are there no, some that never did? No, there are some that never did. Uh, I, can I see it for a second? Yeah. No, I just want to check it out. It's my face on the cover, in case you, you don't know. It's, a, uh, it's on, also on the back cover. <laughs> it looks a little like the seventh seal, that face, uh, somehow. That's right, of, because uh, I have a good, tragic face. I should not mm -hmm. be doing comedy. I should be doing Swedish tragedy, you know? <laughs> Well, the hell with it. Um, this is uh, this contains uh, all my pieces from the New Yorker magazine to date, plus several other uh, published things yeah. uh, in other magazines, and a few new things that I wrote just for this book. There's about a dozen from the New Yorker, and a couple from some other magazines, and, and I wrote a couple just so they would buy the book if they've read them all, anyhow. Yeah, they're really hilarious. I read, I think, oh, four-fifths of it last night. And there's one, I know there was one that I hadn't seen anywhere uh, called Mr. Big. That's Is right. It? That's right. That, that was written just for this book. Yeah. Really funny. Oh, um, but it's a, yeah, it's a, book. yeah, you can get there's this at your bookstore. There's so few uh, funny books that are actually funny. I know it's easily said, but the junk that they sell for humor, I think of the poor people in hospitals who get these cruddy little books that are supposed to make them laugh and they never do. Or right, people they, who aren't in hospitals, but... Yeah, because I don't Awful. know why, uh, humor, but writing comedy humor. is a weird talent, and there's not too many people that really have it, you know, yeah. to, to, to be able to, to write comedy. And I don't know what, you know, it doesn't mean that you're good in anything or intelligent or anything. It's just some freak kind of mutation that you can write things yeah. and they come out funny. Yeah. Um, S.J. Perlman, of course, is uh, miraculous at it, is miraculous at it, Robert Benchley. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a couple of other people that... Are, that um, you know, that are tremendous at it. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking of Frank Sullivan and, uh, and mm. uh, Max Shulman and, and uh, you know, where they have a real pro style that's funny. But most people um, don't write such funny stuff. I don't know why. Who do you read when you, want, when you don't want to laugh, but when you just want to read something good, good Me? writing? Yeah. Uh, I'm a heavy reader. I, yeah. I read, uh, um, I don't like reading. You know, because I think uh, I think reading is a secondary experience, and that if you can be doing anything else and you're reading, it's a mistake. You know, so I read exclusively when I get into bed at night. That's uh, that's what. <laughs> Why? Because you think that that's my only choice, right? <laughs> No, I, I, that's when I read, because I get tired. You know, I read uh, and my eyes get tired, and then I drop off to dreamland. And um, I read Kafka a lot. I'm a big fan of his. And uh, I read a lot of philosophy. You'll notice there's a lot of philosophy in here. And I mean, a lot of death. A lot of death. I like to write about death a lot because it, it, um, I'm obsessed with death, you know, as I was saying earlier in yeah. the show when we died. And... Um, <laughs> You know, I, Where does that come from? Does that run in your family, a morbid streak? I think I have it, too. You, you do you think about it a lot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we just upset somebody in the band. With, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you can't mention the subject without... Uh, do you ever have the feeling that... Uh, that this has nothing to do with that, really. Mm -hmm. But do you ever... You know, we're sitting here talking now, not unlike we might in real life. Right. Do you ever get the strange feeling when you're on television that maybe, actually, this is the night when the odds tipped to the extreme end of improbability, and not one person is watching. All the time. I think that all the time. Yeah. I am notorious for getting low ratings on television. You know, I did two specials. The first one years ago, got a real low rating. The last special I did was on CBS. I, it was me, uh, Billy Graham, Candy Spurgeon, and The Fifth Dimension, and myself. And this was about two years ago now. I was on opposite. On, I was on CBS. On ABC, there was a movie that got a higher rating than me. On NBC, there was a card that said, please stand by. We will, you know, <laughs> be back in a minute. <laughs> That got a higher rating than my show. And it wasn't even a moving card? Just Not a... even a moving card, just transmission mm -hmm. interrupted. We'll be back in a little while. And people were watching that and not watching my show. Now, what do you... You must have an explanation for that because uh, you're a tremendous success in all the media. But I don't know why exactly. You know, I'm not being facetious, but my television shows do get... Uh, I have gotten low ratings. Wait, you'll see in your two weeks of, of 90 minute shows with people, see if I don't get a lower rating than, you know, I don't know who you're doing them with, but, but you'll see. Really? You'll be the bottom. I will this. be the rock bottom rating that you get. <laughs>
In other words, it is quite possible that there's no one watching now, or just a handful of people. A handful of perverts are watching the show at this moment. Um, I think that I'm a specialized taste. I'm a, mm. like a rare wine that a person must be uh, have a certain amount of education, a certain amount of breeding, as it were. Um, they, uh, yes, that's yes, true. Yes, it's true. Of course, um, I didn't mean to laugh. I don't know what got into me. Of course. <laughs> uh, so you're not going to get many normals watching this show, um, <laughs> really. Yes, we have quite a, a perverted audience actually in the studio. I don't yeah, know, you they, get great we, looking we girls in the audience. We cleaned out the bus station when. You know that? Yeah. Right. I didn't right. mean to interrupt you. No, go ahead. Well, what do you mean? I, I, I say this people at uh, uh, the bus station is you probably get a great empty. Many All the perverts great are girls in the bus oh, station. Oh, sorry, I did it again, <laughs> yeah. didn't I? Uh, you got great girls. The bus station. Uh, yeah. <laughs> could you split so the screen anyhow, and we could talk with it? Um, I was just remarking uh, 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 that every time I've done this show, which has been like three times, mm -hmm. um, you get real pretty girls in the audience, and I, it's a consistent thing, and I don't know exactly why you do. Oh, I get much prettier ones on the nights you're not here. <laughs> oh, I've, do you? I've heard you. <laughs> because no, I, uh, it is funny. Uh, you know what it is? I think that a number of, uh, I know why you think that. Um, airline stewardesses uh, often attend the uh, television broadcast, and you'll probably find that a number of these people now uh, are airline stewardesses. Is that why there are the paper bags on the chairs in front of you? Uh, <laughs> Possibly not. You know, Possibly I've done the Tonight not. Show and the, uh, many yeah. times in the um, Merv Griffin Show and the David Frost Show, and, and they, they get attractive women, but you get consistently good girls yeah. here, and I, you know, I'm, it, it's maybe worth hanging out outside. <laughs> <laughs> you could come here and get a job pushing something. Uh, That's right. Time. I could hang out here, yeah. but it means I'd have to leave the schoolyard. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back after this message from our local station.